On my right hand is a P4400. I've had this for almost eight years now. It's a tool that shows you how much vampire power or power that your appliances are using. Let's see what the difference between the 4400 and the 4600 is. Comes in the blister pack. It's gotten a little slimmer. The 4600 got rid of the lip that's in the 4400. In practice, I've never had an issue where this lip prevented me from plugging it into this. The second difference is that this thing has a non-volatile memory. The old one, if you plug something in, 120 volts, 2.88 amps, 340 watts charging a power bank, volt amps, 60 hertz, power factor 0 0.98, 0 0.01 kilowatt hour consumed, and it's been on about five minutes. If you ever lose power, you unplug it like that. And then you plug it back in, you go back to the kilowatt hour and it's going to reset itself, therefore losing your energy information. Let's use this new one here. Plug in our power bank, 120 volts. The total cost consumed so far, our rate, push and hold the set button and then mine over here is about 33 cents per kilowatt hour. You got the kilowatt hour consumed, elapsed time of one minute, press up to see the next measurement, power factor 0 0.98, 60 hertz, 348 volt amps, 340 watts, 3.9 amps, and back to the volt again. Now we have about 0.02 kilowatt hour. I'm gonna unplug this thing and then plug it back in. Navigate back to kilowatt hour and you see it's 0 0.02. It retained the information. Taking it apart to show you where it failed, these little plastic things over here came apart. Gripping the front like this. Don't do that. Grip it from the back plastic piece. I know if the wall is right here, you still have to grab it from the back. Kind of wiggle it loose like that. Let's test out the standby power of this microwave. Unplug it. Plug in your kilowatt. Plug in your microwave and we press it until we see the watts. 3.3 watts all day long, 24 seven, even when it's not microwaving anything. These can help you pinpoint some power hogs and allow you to unplug them if necessary. Old style alarm clocks consumes a lot of standby power. So you can just use your phone instead. Just knowing where your power goes and then making a decision can help you save a lot of money. Check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching and until next time.